Hello everyone, today I've decided to make a tier list of my Avengers data pack weapons since like I thought that would be cool. I'm just gonna start with the Avengers weapons and then move on to the Infinity Stones and finally the Infinity Gauntlet. Obviously, actually the Infinity Gauntlet is S tier, I should just like say that from the get go because it's so powerful and it has all the Infinity Stone powers and can kill half of all mobs nearby, which is sort of just a gimmick, but it is pretty cool. Anyway, so I'm gonna start off with Mjolnir. I'm gonna say this is, this is gonna be A tier, so just below good because basically, uh, super good because basically right click three second cooldown deal pretty much any like a decent amount of damage to almost all mobs um, and it has the sneak ability that allows you to like fly up places and stuff and land and deal lightning to nearby mo uh, evil mobs I've frozen all these cows by the way they're not doing anything anyway next on to Captain America shield it's decent melee but it is um, C tier because all it does is, like knockback resistance and Gives you resistance if you shield, but it's it's just it's basically just a shield with like some extra boosts. Next we got the repulsor, which I'm gonna say is high A tier or low S tier, just because it's like so powerful. Like look at this, boom, yeah, pog. Wait, am I recording? I'm recording. Good. I didn't want to miss that because I just got rid of one cast. Anyway, Widow's Bite. I'm gonna say this is B tier because it actually it's it's a little bit more useful than the Captain America thing because you can basically stun mobs. Uh, like if I. Oh no! As I was saying, the um, repulsor. Oh wait, no. I was saying the widow's bite. Widow's bite's pretty big because you can just kind of do this, and it has such a short cooldown that you can just keep stuff there, and you can actually hit it in between right clicks. And it does a little bit of damage, and plus, in offhand, it gives a bonus to attack speed. Now, Hulk smash. I'm gonna say is a tier as well, um, because it. Wait, I said widow's bite was B tier, right? I'm gonna say it's B tier. Um, Hulk Smash is A tier because, well, okay, it's not going to work on these guys because they're no AI right now, but if I were to, say, have some husks, I can just do that, and then I take a bunch of damage. As long as they're on the ground, now you can't really use that against flying mobs. In fact, this isn't very good against flying mobs at all, otherwise it would be S tier because, um, yeah, but yeah, it, it deals a huge amount of damage too, 12 damage. It just has a slow attack speed that, that also brings it down to A. Hawkeye's bow is S tier just because... Let me just show you why, hold on. You see all these husks? I shoot three arrows on the ground right in front of me and nothing can hurt me. And you also got the sonar arrows for players, uh, deadly arrows for really any purpose. It's just sort of the default arrow, but stronger. Explosive arrows to, I don't know, do AOE damage if you want. And with the turret arrows are better for that against hostile mobs. The smoke arrows for if you want to escape a player or just be invisible. Because, you know, that's a vibe. Now let's on, go on to the Infinity Stones individually. Uh, oh, I... Yeah. Doo, 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 doo. So we got the Loki Scepter. Um, it's pretty cool. You can unfreeze mobs and freeze mobs. It's got a you know, decent cooldown, so it's not like super overpowered or anything. Well, it kind of is if you're facing like one like diamond armor zombie or something because you can just put it in its place and then like smack it a bunch of times with the scepter uh so i'll say this is like a tier because it's, it's a decent weapon but it doesn't really do much especially against bosses it's not useful at all because you can't freeze bosses soul stone uh it's pretty pretty good actually i'm gonna say s tier just like on its own because it's a healing thing or maybe well because it's not offensive at all so if you don't have any weapons it's not gonna help that much uh, and the cooldown is pretty long. So I'm gonna say actually A tier, maybe high A tier, because just healing is so useful and powerful. Power Stone, B tier. It's such a powerful weapon, but the cooldown on the thing is a little bit long. I mean, you can hit stuff from far away, but the the kicker is that it gives you Wither, which is really bad. Uh, Tesseract, S tier on its own, because mobility is unparalleled. So yeah, S tier, because you can just like escape any situation, get anywhere you need to pretty quickly. I have Agamotto. It's D tier. It's not really that useful. It, it just, it like, it stops all the mobs nearby for a little bit, allows you to escape, but that's pretty much it. It doesn't help you fight stuff directly because it also turns things invulnerable while they're frozen, right? You can't hurt anything. Reality Stone, it's not even a weapon. It, it just, it just breaks blocks. Like, look at that. It's just, yeah. I mean, it's good for mining, but F tier because it's not a weapon. And then, Finding all it, all the cooldowns are halved, and since Space Stone is already, the Tesseract is already S tier, you know? People really don't understand how powerful ability is. It's so, it's so good. Like, look at this. Oh, oh, okay. Well, if you miss, that actually is an issue. But that was, yeah. If you get good, like, yeah. And it also teleports you safely under the ground, and it won't teleport you into lava, theoretically. 
Uh, so yeah, anyway. Let's see ya. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tier list. Or I don't care. Bye.